Hello! Welcome to my channel. This is Angie with Angie's Crafting with Diamonds on YouTube and Instagram. Today I am unboxing a Diamond Art Club recent release called Crows by John Ross McKimmy. It is a 55.8 centimeter by 76 centimeter picture or 22 by 30 inch. Um, and it is also in square. I hope you're all having a good day today. I can't find my box cutter, so I'm using scissors. I won't poke myself. I think my uh, box cutter went downstairs for some repackaging of some Amazon items. So I'm gonna do it this way. I'm really excited to open this kit. And I'm eagerly awaiting my Black Friday items. Yeah, they must be super busy because normally I get them a lot faster, but good for them. I must have had great, great sales. That's super great to hear these days. At any rate, here we go. So here's our box. You can see this is a square and it has all the usual uh, Diamond Art Club features. And it has all the instructions on the back and a code for a discount. And there are discounts everywhere in the packaging and instructions on the back. There's also instructions inside, which I'll point out. So it's a good solid box. So I'll just open that. There's our little sticker. Wow, that's a snug fit. That must have slid in shipping. Is there anything else in the box? Nope, just those things. Fantastic. Okay, so we have our toolkit here and our sticker. I collect my stickers. I haven't been using them to put on the box, although some people really like to do that. You can see the pretty artwork. I just absolutely love it. Crows are such mysterious and intelligent creatures. It's so much fun. Okay, so I'll put that over here. I'm gonna open the toolkit last. I want to get into the goods of the picture first. And I never am able to open these bags without ripping them. Very rarely. And even if I do, I end up ripping it when I put it back in. <clears throat> so it's a nice dust, dust cover here. Diamond Art Club. Do what makes you sparkle and I will tell you, this definitely makes me sparkle. I love diamond painting. It's got a nice soft back canvas. And there's the, the middle bits. So we have our instructions. And a, a, yet another discount code. And all the nice things. Very thorough and a nice thank you. My favorite part, another favorite part, is the sticker sheet. It's nice and easy to use. The stickers are all pre-cut, so you can pull them off and stick them to your choice of storage, whether that be baggies or containers or, I don't know, there are all kinds of things people think of to use. I've even used dollar store containers. There you go. I love it that you can put in your start and end date. That keeps me honest to when I started my whip because I'm like, I am a serial starter. Trying to make those changes and finish what I start, but you know. The drills, open them after. And here is the picture. <gasps> Look at that. Even the, of course, the canvas is even sparkling, but I can see that right in my, can my camera. Can you see that? It's really sparkly for whatever reason. I know it's a sparkly canvas, but I just really noticed it today. And of course, the drill field is always perfectly clear without any issues. And look at the crow, the rendering on the crow. Isn't that just fun? Oh, wow, look at that. Diamond Art Club is always poured glue. I've never ever had an issue with any of the kits that I've done, not just flattening out on their own. They are always rolled up, but sometimes 
packaging does get a little squashed or creased, but it will just relax itself out. Wow, look at that. And of course there's two legends, one on the bottom and on the top. Oh my goodness, isn't that just fabulous? That is just really great. So I am going to jump in and take a look at the drill packet. So close your ears while I open that. Try and do it quickly. And we'll take a look at the, the drills. There are going to be quite a few dark colors in here because of the effect and mood of the kit. And it also looks like a good chunk of the kit is color blocking combined with some moderate confetti in the middle. You can see here where there's in this kind of a section, you would have lots of color changes happening and lots, but that's what creates the details. And all these dark colors that are in here and the muted tones are what's going to make this gold circle pop and the eye of the crow pop. And his eye down here, this is all gonna pop. And all these stars in the background are gonna pop. Great. Okay, so we'll start with the neutrals, the grays. We always need grays and blacks so the other colors can stand out. There we go. I'm not going to read them out, but I will just pan through them so you can get an idea for the palette of the kit. Oh, good. There's only two bags of 310, but I would expect there would be 310 in this kit. Makes sense to me. And that's actually a, quite a, a pretty neutral, sort of a pinky gray. I don't think I've had this one before. Yeah, nice. And again, we need some dark colors. So we have some pop and there's some really nice purple in the 333. Oh my gosh. I did not realize this was in here. We have a really great rhinestone. It's a 5200. That is a clear rhinestone. That is just great. Oh, Diamond Art Club. You just keep stepping up your game. Those are beautiful. I'm gonna be excited to see where they are. I can't wait. It looks like they're going to be the pluses. Anything with a plus. So we'll have to look for those. Back to the others. So we have some nice dark blue 939. Oh, look at how that is going to pop right off that 939. And some more grays. Some more darks. Some nice grays. We have <clears throat> some more coming through here. Some more 939. Some nice purples. A little bit of this sort of golden yellow color. Some more. Oh, look at this. I've never had a 105. This is an AB, an Aurora Borealis drill. So it has a coating on it that makes it sparkle like the Northern Lights. That's why they call it an AB. It actually catches the colors beside it. So this should be picking up a lot of the purples and grays. Oh, and there's our second baby. Oh, I love this one too. I've had this one before, it's so pretty. Look at the sparkle on that. Look at the other side. That's fantastic. And I'm not seeing for any static really in this kit, which is great. So I hope that gives you a good idea of what there is. I'm going to pull off the electric or rhinestone drills. Um, the other AB. The 131. And the 105 that I just had. And we'll just take a quick look at where they go in the picture. Starting with 
the 105, it's a number one. So anywhere you see a number one, if you go down, you can see that we're gonna see that here going around in the, in the uh, outline of the crow zone. <laughs> it looks like crow, I don't know, reminds me of sort of, um, yeah, I'm not sure. It's very mystical though, isn't it cool? Oh look, and there's lightning over here. I didn't even notice that. I was too busy looking at everything else. Great, I'm sorry I didn't wiggle that too much for you. Um, and the 131, that is going to be the number twos. Where are the number twos? Although they're in the bottom here. You see that? The number twos are down in here. In this sort of, I think it's a part of a dream catcher maybe? It's reminding me of a dream catcher. That the crows are sitting on a dream catcher. Or maybe this is like a Stonehenge sort of feeling here where it's like a mystical portal. Oh, what fun. And then we have these wonderful crystals, 5200, and they are the plus sign. And they are all over the place. Here they are at the top here. And I see them all through here and up in here. Oh my gosh, the lightning. The lightning bolt is a crystal and the crows have crystals in their eyes. Oh my gosh. How am I going to stop myself from kidding this up? It's just, it feels very magical to me and mysterious. I just can't wait. Fantastic. So the last thing you should probably look at, and sorry if my camera keeps moving. I will try and fix that. So sorry, my apologies. I know it's hard to watch when that's happening. We'll take a quick peek in the toolkit in this resealable, recyclable bag. Oh, this is like, like a whole other present when you wrap it up like this. In this kit will be everything you need to diamond paint and get started. I, re I reuse these and I save my spares in here and everything. You get some nice baggies that you can use for kitting up or spares, whatever you need them for. We have a nice set of sharp pointy tweezers, which are really handy and they only come with square kits and the round kits, they don't supply tweezers, but be really careful, they are super sharp. We come with, it also comes with wax, which is more than enough wax for this painting. You will almost only need one of these to do a painting. And remember to take the plastic cover off before you put it into your pen and refill your pen. So it's always great. We have our washi tape, which people often use to mark off sections or around the edge of the canvas to keep it extra sparkly and clean. And that's just random in the kits. And then we have a fun little cover miner. Oh, I've never had a dolphin. He is so cute. He even has sparkles. I think he's gonna go into my top 10 minder collection from Diamond Art Club. Oh, he's so cute. One of my new favorites. Okay, and then you always get a pen with a squishy. And yeah, we'll just go on. And that's all you need to paint with. And I think it's cool that it's black. It matches the kit and it even has sparkle in the drum itself. And then lastly, we have our multi-placers that go on the end of your pen, a four and a seven, the skinny ones that I like. And we have a really pretty tray with a stopper. I heard recently that there might've been a change to these trays. So yeah, I'm looking forward to receiving one of those, but this is just a great tray. I use them all the time. It's fantastic. Well, I really hoped, hope that you enjoyed seeing this unboxing 
and I'm really looking forward to starting this kit soon. Um, have six whips on the go right now, so I kind of have to pick and choose what I start, or I have to buy more storage to uh, <laughs> accommodate more kits. Thank you, and like and subscribe, please. I really appreciate everyone's support, and I hope to get out more video content soon. Have a good one.